And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. And CLS is go for main engine start. We have a go for main engine start. And we have main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Houston now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling on to the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. Thirty-two seconds into the flight. The three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic. Discovery three and a half miles in altitude, four miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by for the throttle up call now from Capcom Eric Bowe. Discovery. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Sterko, joined on the flight deck by pilot Kevin Ford, flight engineer Jose Hernandez, and Pat Forrester. Seated down on the mid deck are Danny Olivas, Christopher Fugelsang of the European Space Agency, and Nicole Stott, hitching a ride for three months on the International Space Station. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The onboard computers steering the shuttle for its precise path to the International Space Station.